the thing time goes too fast. I feel blessed to be able to be this old and still have my health. You love someone regardless of who they are, you would get it back in me too. Hi, my name is Carol Petit, and I'm 81 years young. My name is Shelley Isaacson. I'm 76 years old. I'm uh, Larry Isaacson. Uh, I was born in 1940. My name is Cynthia Joy Dorsett. I'm 91 years old. I was born in Detroit and we moved to Flint because my dad's business took him there. I had uh, two siblings, a sister that was older than me by four years, her name was Shirley, and my uh, brother, Pat, that was younger than me by three years. Growing up, I was actually closer with my brother because my sister was uh, always seemed to be going out of a stage when I was going into it, and so we really didn't have a lot in common. I was born in Trinidad and my sister Tobago. Trinidad is located in the Caribbean waters of Venezuela. I lived first with my grandparents, so when I came with my siblings, there was a jealousy. When I passed near to them, I elbowed them and they would cry. I said, I didn't do anything, I was walking, and my elbow hit her, you know, lying. <laughs> I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1959 to 1963. My rank was a Corporal E-4 when I left. Then I joined General Motors Buick and I was there 37 years. One thing I should like to add, four years ago I had a, sh a stroke and so if my speech is somewhat di uh, different it's because of that. I don't, I don't have the memories. I have the memories, but I don't what I don't know what yes. I wanted to further my education. I got married before I came here. But when I came I lived with a cousin and a very good friend, which was a lot of fun, a lot of learning, and it was winter time. And it was pleasant, but race is something I did not expect. I went to the city with Elmo, my deceased husband, and we sat in a restaurant, no exaggeration, for half an hour. With a smile, putting up his finger, and we were ignored. Those days, Cynthia was very silly. I said, let's get out of here, they don't like black people. And he would try to calm me down, for oh, her. He was such an angel. And we left, but it happened many, many times with different, on different occasions. Family is very important. I'd say it's on the top of my list. Um, start out with my husband, Ron, who I really miss. He's been gone 11 years now. 
and um, then my children. I'm so proud of every one of them. You know, they've made fantastic lives for themselves and everything. And my grandkids, oh wow, they're, they're just really super, you know? I mean, I just love all my family so much. That I build my whole life around my children and grandchildren. I don't know words to put to my family. Extended and close. I've met my extended family through my son, Darren. I met all his extended family. My son, other son, Kirk. Well, his family is not as big, but what he has is close. And closeness attract closeness and love attract love. So I get it from both sides. You are going to need your family. You may not think you need them right now, but come down the road, your family is going to be very important to you. I guess first and foremost, my most important moral is that I want people to uh, be honest. Never lie to me about anything because I just, you don't trust anybody after they've lied to you. I look at morals in young people and I would tell them, be honest. If you're not honest, you can't be trusted. Time is important. Do I tell you six o'clock? I mean six. Do I tell you to next year? I mean next year. But time is important. Time goes on, whether we have wanted to or not. Um, I look back over my life and I think about growing up, you know, and things that um, happened when I was younger. And it's a process. I mean, I enjoy certain parts of my life more than others. My one piece of advice to young people today is um, to always believe in yourself and your capabilities. Um, never doubt that you can do something. Just go ahead and do it. And if you fail, Try again. First, they have to respect themselves. And after that, everything would fall into place. Value the childhood you have. Value the time that you have when you're young. Don't take on responsibilities that you don't need too early. Life is too short. And I've appreciated what I have done. We cannot regain time, so I decided to take the best out of it. Do you have anything else that you would like to say or add to this story? Enjoy life and make the most of what you have because you don't know how much longer you'll have it.